Okay, hey guys, welcome to Nate Space. My name's Nathan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, a gauntlet, like a cosplay gauntlet. And I'm only doing this because I have another um, Sauron one to do, so yeah. So, this is what we're going to try and make. I'm going to make the one for the right hand next. And I thought I just may as well turn it into a tutorial. Okay, so first of all you need to go out and print off um, the templates for this. Um, they should be on my Facebook, uh, check them up there. They're all hand-drawn, so please mind the scruffiness of them. But this is what you should get if you get And it really works, it's really cool. You just slip it on. Oh yeah, get yourself some garden gloves as well, because that's what this is made of. So this is it. Sound glove. I can still cleanse my hand and do a fist. And it articulates and everything, so the thumb there. So let's do this. So first of all, this is the type of thing I was going for. And then from this, then I just sketched up a few templates over so here. Okay, so that'll be the main body of the hand. So that's that bit. You can see there. This bit here. Four of these. And one of these. So you cut them out. And that's the hand bit. And then you've got finger joint. So this bit here are these bits here. Silver bits, and you can just about see one in here as well. So, those are those bits. Um, this part are uh, the thumb plates here. Mark this light off. I wonder if it does. No, it doesn't do any better. I'll try and turn this slightly, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, these bits are these thumb plates here. Uh, these bits, so plant out really. Uh, these sort of knuckle joint bits and fingertips, which are slightly curved. And also, um, I put a spike on the end here. That's also using this template. Okay. So the equipment I'm going to be using for this are a standing knife. Heat gun and a glue gun with a glue stick stuff here. And also, you need probably need like a, a permanent marker. Okay, so um, grab yourself a glove. This isn't the same type of one as this one. Uh, it was from an older project, so I ripped off all the stuff. That's all these lines are. They're all glue gun marks. But this is basically it. This is an old gardening glove. Um, for the materials of the actual arm, I'm using this stuff. It's like a 2 mil thick craft foam. i got quite a bit of it here, so I could probably make quite a bit of the, the hand out of just these little scraps. Try and be a bit more um, economic on it. Economic? I don't know if that's the right word. But anyway, so first things first. I'm gonna grab one piece if it fits on there. Doesn't it fit on there. Try, maybe I should just make all the small bits first. So all I do is actually I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna use a biro. Okay, so all I gotta do is repeat the process again. My camera's gone. I'm going to focus slightly. I'm just going to repeat the process again um, with all the other pieces ready. So, I don't know if there's any point in showing this, but I'll just time lapse anyway just in case you do want to say anything. Okay, so for this one you're going to want uh, four of them, 
to uh, make the back of the handlet. So let's do this. Do, 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 do. Into one side. Okay. So we've done this one, we've done this one, we've done this one. Push them to one side. Now we're going to do one of these and one of these because there's only one of each. So. Okay, so we've got most of the pieces now. The only ones left are these two. Um, this one you need three pieces. This one, obviously, well, you're going to need five. But you're going to need a sixth one as well for the back of the thumb, which is right here. See? I used one of these just to mask those bits of there. And three of these overlaps to go down. Okay, so bring all our pieces back. Jumbled massive pieces. Yeah, so my hand's a bit of a mess, to be fair. Uh, it's probably the most pieces, only one place on the entire costume that I've made so far. Just keeping up the templates. Okay. Now we've got to stick them to the glove. Okay, so we've cut out all the pieces and now we're going to glue and shape them all together. So, first of all, get these pieces out four hand plates and one sort of, I don't know what to call it, a wrist plate maybe. Um, just pull those out for a minute. Now, because I've already done one, I can measure them and make sure they're all the right size but you you guys are gonna have to sort of just um I, i'm gonna say guesstimate how far okay so this is what i mean by just guessing out um just roughly the size that they, they've all got a walk flat so i've got this one next to it so i can sort of cheat but you guys are gonna have to guess and i'm looking at it now and i might even because i can just see in there, this bit here. This bit seems a bit too long, so I might even just roughly cut that along there, maybe. But that's about right there now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out one. Three and and the marking is for really for the gluing, so I know how far the distance has to be. So now if I pull them apart, I can see this pattern on them. And I'm just going to trim this one roughly, right size. I'm not really being precious because you know it's fine. So, yeah, okay. Right. Now, I don't know if you can see it on this one, but you can 
just about to see some bumpy contours on it. I've tried to highlight it with the paint, but there's like bumps in the ridges. Like if I go like that, you can see there's lines here. I tried to mimic that on the armor. So you gotta do them. So how I do them is I'm gonna overlap them all first. Not what they're supposed to be. Because I've got my template easy enough to do. And then I'm gonna Put this next to me for reference. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a line down here. I'm gonna draw a line down here, down here, and down here. So now I got those lines. Now I can sort of push the armor up into those sort of lines. So something similar like this. So I, I bend the arm in half and push it. And then you get see that little kink in the armor there. So I want that sort of effect. So let's do this. Oh, and also uh, I'm going to be using heat gun for this part because it also seals the form. It's easy for painting. Okay, so here's the heat gun then, and you can see I've got a nice contour now. Okay, so what I'm doing here is basically, um, or what you're gonna do is just keep heat getting all the um, the other pieces, all the back of the hand, uh, and do that pinching technique I mentioned on all of your uh, the lines that you should have drawn on the back of them. And just keep pinching them, keep pinching them, keep checking them to make sure the lines are following suit, and that's all I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just about done it now. That's about roughly the shape I want it to be. So now I'm going to glue them together. So on this one, what I've done is I've only glued along this side and along this side. These bits in here are free. You see that they separate. That's what to allow the hand to. Can't really see it there, but. So that allows the hand to move. So that's what we're going to do on these ones. So. First of all, we'll start with this bit. I'll flip them upside down there so I know which ones to go for. So use your, you can just about still see the template, get your heat gun up to temperature, and squeeze out there. Squeeze out a little bit on that side. There you go. And just repeat the process now. Okay, so that's the first part of it, all done. Now, the next bit's getting a, bit, a little bit trickier, but not too hard, don't worry about it. I'm just going to make sure that's the right size. Mm, yeah, that's about right. Make sure they bend. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, easy bit done. Now comes the next bit. Next, you get your knuckle duster. And I'm gonna flip around. Make sure you flip around with the other hand. So I'm gonna mark it actually. This way up. There you go, right. I'm gonna heat this. And on this one, I don't know if you can see it on this, but yeah, you can just about see it. There's little bumps again to simulate knuckles like this. So 
what are those flowers? Um, trying to find something. Oh, okay. This is the best thing I got. Potato peeler. And the handle is rounded. So, I sort of want to heat it up now. I'm going to push into the knuckle area with this. And then, it's already done it actually already. You can just about see that. And that's what I do that. So. Okay, and that's literally all there is to that bit. Now you can see we got some nice contours there. So I leave this be these bits flat so I don't curl them down. Just stick them straight on here. Okay, then you do the fingers. So for this one, the fingers have this material. On the inside, I cut it and then I sort of stuck it to this bit. I would stick it under there and then build fingers up on top of it. But this bit stuck pretty well just to the glove, so in this one, I'm just going to stick it straight to the glove and try not to bit my fingers because that really hurts. So, yeah, I'm going to do it this way, not this way. So, I'm going to get my glove. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to leave that set for a minute, and I'll come right back. Okay, so, I think it's set, and I'm just going to slip it on quickly, there it is. You can just about see, you can see there, the arm flexing, because it's not joined here, or here, or here. So it flexes with your hand, so that's nice. And it's stuck down really nice now as well. Let's pick off these bits of glue on the side here. When we paint all those at the end, they'll all look like like a weld, so it'll be fine. So good. Okay, so have the fingers. Okay, so first of all, collect all these little squirrely squarey squares. You can do this, do this. Yeah, one of them. Squares. Um, collect all your fingertips. We'll run away because you don't need that one for now. And then we can begin making fingers. So, first of all, what you gotta do is you gotta start bending these around. What I do is I just heat them up nicely and then heat them around my finger like this. That should be it, so let's go. Okay, so I'll just show you one finger for now, and then you can just go about and do the rest of them yourself. So I've got these two little sort of tube type shapes. Right. What you've got to do now, and this will make your life a lot easier, you just snip off like this, the corners. This then stops them interfering with the parts. I should do anyway. Okay. So you got shapes that look like that now. On the ends. That's probably a bad one. There you go. Okay. So you got those two bits. Now I'm going to slip on my glove. No, not actually. Where am I actually? Yeah, no, I'm going to be fine. So I'm just going to roughly guess out the index finger there. Then I'm going to get this one. And heat that up. And then I'm going to curl it. Curl it to a point first and then round it off. So you got something that looks like that. And you bring this back, stick these ends on, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then 
with these then. These parts here. There's two for each finger, so and it's gonna be a similar method to this bit here where we're gonna sort of pump up the middle, so I'll show you now. You don't need much heat. That's about enough, really. So I'm just gonna push up the middle. Give it a bit of force. Okay, so you've got like a dome shape. You can probably push up with your thumb as well if you wanted to. And I'm gonna curl down the edges as well, so they sort of fall down. This is not too much of a form, uh, dome even. Just enough so you can see it. You can do it to the other one as well. Push up, turn it into a dome shape. Curl the sides down. There you go. So these are the parts you should have for each finger. This bit, this bit, this bit, this bit, and that bit. So that's one finger. So now I'm gonna. Okay, so the way you're doing this without burning your fingers is. It's actually an easier way. If you just push down the piece so it's flat, then you're guaranteed to have it on the right place, hopefully. Space that, get out of there. Like that. Okay, do it for the next one. Try not to touch the glue because it's very, very hot. And stick that one on there, like that. And I'm just going to push down to make sure it covers. Yeah, I want it to cover. Just gonna, just gonna stick my finger in that to push out the area a bit. Okay. So now I got that bit, you just now stick the fingertip on. So I got that much so far. Now I'm gonna stick these bits on now. So these bits I'm gonna stick on. I always stick it on the one behind the one in front. So I'll be gluing it about here, and on this one I'll be gluing it on about here. So if I can just try my other bit, which I've lost. I got it. <sighs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is. See the gloves do work, I can use a glue gun. So I'm going to do like that, like that, and I'm going to try and not burn myself this time while wearing the glove. So, just gently put it on there. And there's any of this like excess glue you can just pull off, because it's annoying. These fingertips will start to curl, just heat them up again, and you can reshape them. Don't worry about that. Alright. Uh, a bit more. Okay, so this is what you should end up with. I zoomed ahead and made all the fingers. So I've glued them all down to the actual glove instead of having a separate component like my other glove. And I actually have a lot more flexibility with this one, so yeah. So this is what you should have by the time you finish your fingers. I don't want to stop with this one. I think I need to like trim it or something. But yeah, that's it.
So now the only pieces you should have left are one of these. Oh, not sorry, two of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. And one of these. So those bits are going to go right here on the thumb. And these plates are going to be angled backwards, I do believe. Yes. Sorry. They're going to be angled backwards like that. So let's do that now. Let's curl these into shape. There's like a plate thing going on. Let's punch this into shape here. Sorry, move these over. Let's curl these round. Now we're going to glue them on. So on this one, I'm going to work backwards. I'll show you what I mean now. Let me get the glove on. Okay. So what I mean is, I'm going to start with a thumbnail. So glue that on first. them about there maybe first I'm gonna glue them all together so first okay so for this one you know if you see I'm gonna glued slightly over this bit here and then straight onto the glove if I can. I just realized another mistake. I need to sort of peel this pin bit up a bit. Like that. So I can glue this bit underneath it. So I'm just going to glue like that. Like so. spike as well. Don't glue to the, the back of the hand if you can. It's not supposed to go there. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move this up a bit. So you can see a bit better. There we go. That's it. So that is the gauntlet. Sorry the end bit was messy, but all of it should be covered up when you paint it. Um oh wait, no, I haven't finished. Okay. These bits here. These are little like sort of fake rivets and stuff. But he uses um I use the the same form as he used on this. But um I just use a hole punch on it, and that's all those are. Is punched out uh, bits of foam, and I stick them down just on these bits here. So that's it. That's it for now. Thank you for helping me make a gauntlet and um, give it a try yourself. Um, templates are on my Facebook, so go over there, print them out, and I will go make one. You can have a gauntlet of your own. So, that's it for me. Um, thank you. Um, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Um, like the Facebook, that way when you take your templates away, uh, share with all your friends. And that's it. Thank you.